Winning by Jack Welch and Susie Welch. Summary from 4-Minute Books. Written by Niklas Gok. Read by Ian Pringle. One-sentence summary. Winning is Jack Welch's manual to becoming an astonishing manager and leader, which gives you practical tools to manage the finances, strategy, and most importantly, the people of your company. Favorite quote from the author. Change before you have to. Jack Welch. When Jack Welch, the author of Winning, left General Electric in 2001 after having led the company as its CEO for 20 years, he pocketed the biggest severance payment in history, $417 million. Even General Electric doesn't shell out half a billion just like that, but for the manager of the century, sure, GE's value had grown 4,000% under Jack's reign. When you take a company that's already worth $12 billion and increase its worth 40 times, that makes those $417 million seem like peanuts. Needless to say, the man has a good tip or two about leadership. Here are the ones I'm taking away. 1. Your mission should be to win the business you are in. 2. Annual budgeting is one of the biggest limiters of growth. 3. Never stop trying different jobs until you find one you love. Lesson 1. Your mission should be to win the business you are in. Mission statement is a terribly overused buzzword, but having a mission is important. Jack thinks your mission is always the same, to win the business you are operating in. The question of what your mission statement should be then becomes easy. It's the answer to the question, how do we intend to win in this business? Answer that, and you'll have your mission set out very clearly for you. For Jack, the answer at General Electric was to either be number one or number two in every market they were in, or leave it. That led him to selling plenty of business units of GE and then using the capital he made from those to double down on markets they were already doing well in and streamlining their entire business. Ask yourself how you can win in your niche or industry. Consider radical and unusual options. Take a pick and run with it. Lesson 2. Setting annual budgets can be a huge growth stopper. Setting annual budgets is a pain for everyone involved. There are two possible scenarios. One, the board wants to go big and grow by 20%. The manager is afraid she'll only be able to do 10% and tries to cut the budget short so she gets her annual bonus and plays it safe. Two, the board wants to aim low and grow by 5% because the previous year didn't go so well. The manager is really ambitious and has a great project idea which could lead to a growth north of 15% but is denied the budget for it. In both scenarios, everyone loses. Jack suggests flexible budgeting instead, which is adjusted as you go along. For example, if a new project takes off and 50% more production capacity is needed, by all means, who wouldn't want to invest the money into new equipment? Another idea is to introduce stretch goals, which are hard to reach and can also be adjusted over time. This way, it's not an annual hit or miss on anyone. Managers can spend more money on what works well and struggling areas aren't smothered in cash they don't need. Now, before we get into lesson three, I'd like to give a quick nod to Reading.fm, the amazing people behind the audio for this and all the other videos on our channel. Reading.fm is your personal blog radio where you can listen to your favorite articles and essays from around the web, narrated by real, human, professional voiceover artists. Use the link below to sign up for free and start listening to more summaries from 4-Minute Books, as well as your favourite blogs, right away. OK, let's dive into Lesson 3. Lesson 3. Keep trying different jobs until you find one you love. I love that Jack included advice for the people on the other end of the line as well. Don't be afraid to switch jobs a lot. The idea of a job is about to be history soon anyways, so no one will care about many different stations in your resume. What good will you do the world if you have a degree from Harvard, work in investment banking, but spend hours at your desk doodling cars because you'd have loved to have been an engineer? That's no way to become a visionary and change the world. If you try a new job and don't like it, don't see it as a failure. Think of it as having found a new piece of the puzzle that will help you make your next choice and get you one step closer to finding what you're looking for. 
Just like Edison had to find 1,000 ways to not invent a light bulb before he found one that worked, jobs are really just experiments that you run. You have to do what you believe is great work, and the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Hey, this is Nick, the founder of 4-Minute Books, and if you feel a little bit better equipped to handle your money after watching this video, then you should watch this next one, where we share even more tips and tricks on how to grow your money, invest wisely, and hopefully retire young. Click on through and let's learn how to earn the big bucks.